So my metronome is set at 35 beats per minute, which is pretty slow. Uh, I'm trying to practice up-tempo jazz. So I thought I'd set the metronome as slow as possible! Basically, I've been working out of this book by Mark Giuliano, which is awesome! And the first part of the book is about changing rates uh, between 8th notes, 8th note triplets, and 16th notes. So then I remember Joe Morello's Master Studies Table of Time, where you keep going, you go... Uh, after sixteenths, you do quintuplets, and then you do six, and then you do seven, and then you do eight, and you go all the way up to twelve. However, I'm I've been stopping at I mean I've been doing it as a single stroke roll all the way up to twelve, uh, starting pretty slowly, um, and then I decided, well, what if I consider each of these new subdivisions as quarter notes, so it's basically metric modulation, uh, using uh, the subdivisions from one to eight. So uh, at 35 beats per minute, when you end at eight, you're doing 280 beats per minute, I think. 35 and two, 140, 280, yeah. So, <laughs> this is totally ungraceful and unprepared, but I wanted to share it with everyone because I think if you um, put the time in on this, it could be a really amazing way to lock down the jazz ride pattern. So what I've been doing is adding the uh, hi-hat on the two and four. Uh, for the odd numbers, that means that the... Um, that it phase shifts, which is really cool. Um, so I'll put a kick on on each one, and I'll do uh, four bars without the jazz ride pattern, and then I'll add the jazz ride pattern after I lock it in. Um, I haven't worked out transitioning between the rates yet <laughs> at 35 beats per minute is pretty crazy. Anyway, you get what I mean and you can, uh, I'll, sh anyway, let me just show you. So it's clicking here.
Anyway, I think it's uh, really interesting to try playing in the typical 4-4 ride pattern, but with a subdivision of 3, 5, or 7. Um, it's really exciting, and I'm excited to do more.